Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm back inside of Towers of Agaspa. Now, I'm at a completely new biome. Now, what I didn't really expect to happen was everybody from my first town seems to have relocated over to here. So, I feel I should have done more on the first island before I came over here, to be fair. I mean, there were so many more buildings I could have crafted and so much more I could have done to my town to up its prestige and all sorts of other things. And there was places that I was longing to explore that I just didn't. And I came across here. But anyway, let's start talking to all of the people that's, that's right here, right now. So what I would suggest to you guys out there in the Viewerverse is maybe take a little bit more time in your first region before you move out here. I didn't expect all of this to happen. So lesson learned. So let's just talk to Ajit first and see what he's got to say. I love the dialogue in this. Look at this. It's so he's saying this is Midhaven. And, and now it's like, how pathetic. I could have created something more majestic with my my arms chopped off. <laughs> made me chop. I nearly spat my tea out. Okay, anyway, I'll let you know what he wants me to do. Right, I'm now a janitor. I've got to use my pickaxe to remove debris for in and around this area. So, although that I thought the first area might have been the tutorial area, this kind of feels like an extension to that now. He's also saying this area is very barren and we need a new ecosystem here. So I'd imagine we've got to go and speak to Powal or whatever his name is and get another seed or something for this area that's biome Pacific. But we'll see if that happens. The very next sentence, the very next sentence, I pre freaking dicted it. Yes, there we go. I pull rubbish. We've got somebody new here as well with a yellow symbol above their head. Let's see what she wants me to do. We might as well get all the missions at once. Just in case something happens ambiently, you know? Ah, okay, well, she's saying that this domed thing that's near her is a portal. Maybe I can portal from here back to my first base, and then hopefully I don't have to walk all that way. Or maybe we might get mounts soon. Let's hope that's the thing. Well, would you look at this? The portal only needs 30. Amity. I've got 96. There we go. Let's, let's get the portal awake, and that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, cutscene, I think. Yeah, I can't move. Something's happening. By the spirits, you've done it! The portal is active! Of course, we're not able to travel through the portal until we find another portal and activate it as well. There was one at my first base, but when I interacted with it, it said it needed more research. Oh, great fun. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, and she just woke the portal up anyway. And uh, looks like I can teleport, maybe? Um, it just brought up the map. When I hit this, it brings up the map. And it looks like I can teleport pretty much anywhere. I think. Shall I give it a go? Um, yeah, I guess so. Ah, oh, what the flying fudge? This is a little bit haphazardy. Now all the portal stuff's disappeared. Oh, there we go. Now it's there. Right, how do I zoom in? There we go. Yeah, there. Okay, even though that she just woke it up and said, she moves, she man, all that sort of stuff, doesn't seem to have done anything for me. And look, I'm selecting it, nothing's actually happening. Maybe the portal doesn't work for now. All right, well, we'll come back to that. Right, so the only rocks you can smash with your pickaxe are the ones with the green little arrow above them. Okay, so you can't just smash any old rock. You've got to find the ones with the green sort of arrow above them. And they're, they're kind of easy to spot, and kind of not. So, good luck. What I'm, I'm noticing is they're kind of more of a yellowy colour than the rest of the rocks around them, if that helps you as well. So if you're not seeing the little green thing straight away, it's like this one. This one looks like it, see? There was no green arrow above it. So that's why I was saying, you know, good luck. But what I have noticed, they're more like a, a yellowy colour. And they've got this same sort of construct. This one that's jutting up and then a little square one next to it. So there we go. I'm getting better at spotting them. Okay, well, while smashing rocks, I actually spotted this guy with a yellow thing above his head. So we're going to talk to him as well. Here we go. Cool, yeah. I'll let you know if he has something for me to do. He wants me to look into the Jabunga. Now, I think the Jabunga are the giant air whales, I think, that we saw in the trailers. I'm hoping it's them. I'm hoping we can bring those into Agaspa, because right now I haven't seen a single Jabunga, if that's what that's what he's on about. But there we go. But we've got to find relics, apparently. They're sure to be relics of their time. Okay, 
All right, so we've got to look for relics. Four gods of nature. I believe we've met Holdra and the forest god. Yes, yes, we have. We have indeed. Oh, OK, so maybe we won't get to see those until we've actually brought back, like, four different biomes or something. I don't know. But I think there's only three biomes in this game. Oh, here we go. There's three gods. Sea god, sky god, forest god. So I guess we've done the... I don't know which one we've done out of all of those, to be fair. All right, cool. Anyway, let's see what we get then. And we've got the quest. The mystery of the Jabunga. Yep. Cool, yeah. Okay, well, we've got that to do. I don't think I've fully done all the rocks yet. I don't know. I don't know whether I have or haven't. But it looks like we've got something else further north to do. We've got one more here. And we've got this over there. Oh, my days. And then we've got another one all the way over there. Holy mackerel! Okay, well this is this is this is um getting a little bit larger. I want to go do this one anyway. Meet with Olsen. I'm gonna meet with Olsen. And uh, I'm gonna carry on looking around here. Oh chums, look what I just spotted on them. A mount for your troubles. Ooh, -hoo -hoo! we might get a mount this episode, people, maybe. Alright, well it's this way that I'm facing to go to the mount, I guess. Chums, I've spotted him, he's over there. So where I was. It's just about here, look. Yeah, so there's all that towery type bit there. Yeah. It's just sort of south over there. So there we go. Just stand on this big thing that I'm on here, this wheel type looking thing. Right. Let's go. Oh, little donkey, little donkey, on a dusty road. Yeah, voice of an angel. So let's talk to the rancher. Sweet. Har loops, you say? Nice. Well, I'm getting myself a majestic har loop, people. Pretty nice. Sweet. Yeah, okay. So we're going to rebuild this stable. Let's have a look what he needs. Let's hope I've got everything he needs. Come on. I've got quite a lot with me anyway. Oh, we only need two more wood. I'll go and find some trees to cut down, hopefully. Okay, chums, there's not many trees, but I can see like a a glowing tree over there and then there's a load of other trees on this hill over there so the stable was just there so i headed like north of the stable okay and there's the trees yeah yeah I'm cutting down the trees that's given me one wood i need quite a fair bit of wood now while i'm over here i might just cut down as many trees as i possibly can there's my amity level going down even though i haven't got an amity tree here i guess it is but... Let's have a look. Amity's just above my head. Yeah, it's just gone down to 66. Uh-oh. The music just changed. Um, it's getting to night time as well, isn't it? Um, I don't like the sound of this music. Uh, okay. I'm wondering what that glowy tree is up on the hill as well. All right, my, my axe just broke, didn't it? Great fun. Can I make another one? Yes, I can. Then I've got to re-equip it. No. Harvest tree! I get a bit of wood, because we've got to rebuild a new town. I'm, I'm bound to need more wood, is what I'm thinking. So I might as well grab a fair bit while I'm over here. What the fudge was that that I just got? I can hear creatures. I can't see them, but I can definitely hear them. Oh, it's one of these guys. You're the same as on the mainland. You are. Yeah, okay. Right, let's get up there then, anyway. I need to get back to town. This music is freaking me out! Okay, Jums, we're back. We're back. Let's see if we can get our mount then, shall we? Here we go. Yeah, let's turn it all. Sweet! Okay, we've now got our stable done. Let's hope he gives us one. Sweet! Swanky digs for my heart loops. This here one is by my most prized loops. Done. Named Chikio B. And she's all yours now! Heck yes! Oh, <laughs> did you see that? Okay, we got a little bit of oddness there. I think that was trying to work out what joypad I'm on or something. Okay, walk up to her and press square and you'll be off in the races. I raced her since she was bigger than a grape. Taught her to come any time she's done. Here's a whistle. Sweet. 
and you want to go near, she comes no matter where you are to find yourself. I'm sorry, the fixing are to weep. Okay, brilliant. We've got our own Harlu. Lovely, and we can summon it by pressing down on our joypad. Oh, sweet. I've also found if you press up, it removes the HUD, so you can get a really good screenshot. That's pretty cool. Anyway, let's uh, head on over here. And square. All right. I guess I guess she's out here somewhere. There she is. And look, I've got the limited edition skin because I pre-ordered. Oh, sweet. This is awesome. Okay, right. I want to get back to town now. Where is town? I think it's over there where that glowy thing is. Now, what I'm thinking is now I've got this, I could ride her all the way back to the mainland and see if I can get the portal to work. The only trouble is, if I go all that way and I can't get the portal to work, it's a wasted freaking journey, isn't it? Hold on, look, there's one shiny thing there. Let's see if we can get this shiny thing over here to work. It looks like there's a second one over here. If I could test portaling from one to the other, that might be an idea, if this is a portal. OK, right, let's have a little word with this person. What is this? OK, he's talking about the bridge and Midhaven. OK, cool. Multiplayer gate. Oh, it looks like we found the multiplayer gate. Brilliant. Sweet. Let's have a quick look at this then. Invite outsiders. Lovely jubbly. OK, and I'll get a path code. Sweet. And I'm going to get given a path code. I don't really want to put that out there right now, because I understand that if you do share this, people can come to your world and move things around if you haven't got the settings right. I need to get the settings right before I invite people over. OK, so you do get this message that pops up about multiplayer to say the current multiplayer experience is still in beta and prone to the occasional bug and hiccup. Okie dokie. All right. Brilliant. OK, right. Well, I've gone into settings and I've gone over to multiplayer and I've turned everything off. So people, if they do visit, you know, they can't do any damage. OK, now I've met this guy. This guy is called Olsen. Let's talk to this. Oh, it's not a guy. It's a gal. Sweet! Shimu Museum. Lovely jubbly. It's in smithereens. Well, hopefully I can fix it. We'll see what we need to fix this. OK, well, it looks like we can get two recipes if we do. Lovely. And let's see what we need to actually fix it up. Wooden plank. OK. Wooden planks produced in a lumber mill at Midhaven. Limestone usually found near mountains and cliffs. Golden nugget sometimes acquired from boulders. I think I'm going to need maybe better tools, not the stone ones, but the iron ones to get most of these products. OK, so the museum might be off in the future. Fair enough. OK, well, that's a future episode right there then. OK, now what I'm thinking is if I am to ride my mount all the way back to the first starter island what i need to do really is to get the tree established here because you know everything takes like 15 minutes or so it's got all those cooldowns so i need to i need to find powwow the seed guy he's not in this little villagey bit here not that i can find anyway so that's a bit annoying so yeah i think i need to go a little bit further north i've still got a couple of things on here we've got this guy here the forest god Holdra. Maybe we should go there. There's another portal, and even further north, the mystery of Jabunga. So I want to go to these two sites, see if I can get a seed, and then once the seed's growing, then ride back to my old town. Tell you what, this mount is rapid. Look at him go. Freaking awesome. Can it do like Elden Ring type moves? No. Okay. I've got to get off of him, man. And now I've got to do the climbing. Then I can re-summon him, I suppose, once I get to the opposite side, right? At least that's what I'm hoping, anyway. Okay. Okay, right, well, that looks like Powell down there. Let's go and see if it is. And this looks like Withered Lands or something. It doesn't look great. Hello, mate. Got cool. Hold your tree. Oh, look. Yep, yeah, found the forest god. Sweet. All right, let's go and have a look. Hello. Oh, great. At least it puts a cutscene in, um, in in daytime. Right, well, I'll let you know the synopsis of, of this cutscene because I don't want to ruin it for you. 
The only thing I would say is he's actually playing with Raro Poot. I need that for my other tree in the other place. So that's good that I waited. Okay, something weird's happened. I've got this message on my screen and I can't close it. I'm pressing every single button known to man. And yeah, nothing's happening. I can't actually get away from this screen right now. I can't even exit. I'm going to have to close the game down and come back in. Yeah, I'm loading back in. Let's see where it put me. Um, right, well, this is a bit weird, isn't it? Have I got my donkey? I have got my donkey. Sweet, so I guess I'm just heading north again. It's hard to know how far in I am. All right. Yeah, I think I'm just heading north again. All right, that, that's not so bad. Okay, I'll see you back there. All right, so before I go and do that this time, I'm just going to hit save. So at least I'm saved right here. If it crashes again, at least I don't have to do this again. Sweet, let's go and do it again. Let's see how we get on. Oh, it's working. Cool, I've got the X to continue now. Sweet. Sweet, well, let's go on in. I need, I need a raro fruit. Can I have one, please? <laughs> yeah, talking to him again just repeats the same stuff, so I'm going to talk to Powell Goodbye. and see what's going on. Okay. Okay, so you have to give alley leaf to him. Now, there are some growing near Midhaven. I just so happened to pick some, so lucky me. All right, cool. Let's um, head on over and let's see if that works then. All right, let's give him some alley leaf and see if this works. <laughs> Okay. Sweet. Okay, well that seems to have sobered him up. But he didn't leave any jarrow fruit for me, and I, I definitely need one to take back to my other island. Um, dang it. Okay, well let's go speak to this chap now, down here. And let him know that we've managed to cure the god. Maybe he might give us another seed. Sweet. Ah, he teleported over here. Okay. Well, hopefully he's going to give us a seed. That'd be nice. Okay, so he needs some more alley leaf and some amity. And I've got both. So here we go. Brilliant. And it looks like we're restoring the sacred forest here. Which is a little bit of a distance. And we didn't get to choose where we put this seed, I guess. I don't know. The Emperor Flower Colossal Seed has, has sprouted right behind me. Apparently. Nice. And I think I can choose where I put that. So now that we've got this sacred forest area here, I'm probably going to put it in between this and my town. So sort of like, so it doesn't feel like I've got to travel so far. Inventory is full. This is a real problem. They haven't given us a big enough inventory. In, in my opinion, we haven't got a big enough one. So, you know, I'm just going to throw the berries around here and hope that there's creatures to eat them. At least I might get some amity from them, you know? If not, I can always come back and probably find some of these, maybe. But there we go. They're all over the place now. What do you mean it's full? I just threw all my freaking berries away. Dang it! Okay, well, that's my berries gone. I'll eat two of these then. Right, now I've got two free slots. Let me pick the dang thing up. There we go. We've got it. Lovely jubbly. I guess. Well, it doesn't look like there's many creatures around. Oh, there are some creatures around here, but they fly. Can I scan you? Hold still so I can scan you. Wow. Okay, well, scanning wildlife. Okay, well, if I ever come across a tip on how to scan airborne creatures, I'll let you know. Um, it's almost freaking impossible. Because they turn and gyrate too much, you don't know which way they're going to fly. So trying to scan the blasted things is like an impossible freaking task. And then when they fly behind a little bit of foliage, you have to start all over again. Okay, so I'm back at town, and you can see here that you can't place it within 200 views or 200 metres of where you are. I've got 194 metres to go. So I might as well go back north a little way. And put it somewhere in between me and that forest that I was just at. So here we go. Let's just go this way by quite a fair chalk. 
I'm heading towards that blue tree. So if I can put it somewhere in between me and that blue tree, that might, I mean the town and that blue tree, that might be an idea. So just here would be quite nice, I think. Let's stick that there. Sweet. Okay. So there we go. And hopefully I can extend it back towards my town or up towards that blue tree. At least we've got this on the bake now. Now, as you know, forests take ages to grow. So I'll get this going and maybe ride my mount, mount back and see if we can get the teleport system up and running. Okay, so he's given me the mission to feed eight creatures and get some tropical seeds planted in the ecosystem and fully grow plants in the ecosystem. It says that there's already 10, so that's nice. So to get my first batch of seeds, I should be able to climb this and pick them. If it lets me climb them. There we go. And we've got three seeds so far, so I can plant those. Let's get those in the ground. And use. Okay. Confirm. Put one there. I think I might have some fertilizer on me, so I'm going to put these quite close together. And if I have got fertilizer, I can force them to grow faster. Let's see if I have got my fertilizer with me. I'll probably put it in storage knowing me. Yeah, I haven't got it with me. All right, fine. Dang it. Okay, well, at least they're all together. At least I'm not going to get lost with them. And I've got to wait for more seeds to grow on this thing now, anyhow. All right, well, I can feed some creatures. Let's see what he likes to eat. He likes mushrooms. Okay, uh, well, I've got a mushroom. And equip. And I just want to throw it at him. Eat up, mate! There you go, that's for you. I think he likes it. There we go, he's going to eat that. I can pick up some turd from him. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, right. And let's have a look. Is there any new creatures? Oh, what's that thing? Ah, dang, it's gone beyond a bush. Run. Where's it gone? There it is. What the fudge is that? I'm glad it's slow moving. Yeah. What? I just want to see what it likes to eat. Oh, it eats raro fruit. I don't know where I get raro fruit from as yet. Stone shovel. Okay. Will digging this up though reduce my amity? Probably. All right. Uh, let's um, let's dig these up then. I need raro fruit though. I'm hoping to find that. Aha! This says raro tree. I uh, hopefully I get a raro fruit from this. Hopefully that's what they look like then. Oh, for fudge! Seriously? It... Dang it! Okay, right, well, this is full now. Right, well, let's um, equip that, and let's hope one of the creatures likes eating eggs. There you go, have that. Yes, I've got a raro fruit. Cool, I can take that back to my first camp, then. Lovely. All right. And there's other creatures here to scan and things, so let's get on that. Is that a new creature? I think it might be. No, Plumpet. Apparently, I already know them. All right, fair enough. And we know that these airborne creatures are a freaking git to scan. And I'm probably not going to be able to scan another one for as long as I live. I think I just got lucky at that other site. I've actually made it worse. So the fully grown plants, I've now taken that down to six. It was at ten earlier. Whoopsie. Okay. Right, now I've done pretty much everything I can there. It looks like I've got a marker back at base. So I can go and speak to... Agit, and then um, hopefully ride back to my old town. So that's what's on the cards right now. Oh, great, my creature got stuck in the tree. All right, let's call him again. Nope, he's still stuck over there. All right, well, I guess we'll just head further south and then call him. Nope, still stuck. Right, it looks like I'm doing this on foot then. All right, cool. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, all done. Tropical ecosystem done. Ruins cleaned of rocks. Yeah, let's see what I need to restore this back to its glory. Okay, right. Well, we can turn in gold dust and stone. I need some more hide and I need some more wood. Great fun. Okay, right. So I need to, how much more wood do I need? I only need three wood and I need four hide. Okay. 
Okay, I feel, I'm going to feel a little bit bad about doing this. Oh, for fudge's sake. Hold still. Oh, you little git. Oh, you little git. Oh, watch this. Right, let's just hit him with a freaking axe then. Right, I need to pick up all my arrows though. And we've got a couple. Where'd he go? Where'd he freaking go? Dang it. He got, he got away. All right, well, we're going to cut down some trees. We get the wood, but I do need to get the hide. And I do like those creatures, so it's probably a good thing he got away. There he is. Right, there okay. Sorry, little guy. Wah! God. It is really horrible taking out these little creatures. They're so cute. Oh, dear. I better get hide off of him as well. I feel bad. Sorry, mate. The gods of town made me do it. Our oh, inventory's full yet again. All right, okay. Um, what can I get rid of? Let's drop those then. Okay, I'm probably going to need those at some point. We got one hide. Okay, and I think I need what two hides? Was it two hides? Or was it four? Can't remember. Right, well, I got to murdercate some more creatures. I don't like murdercating creatures. I really don't. You actually need to kill three more creatures. Fun times. Now, I could do this over by my tree, which I'm bound to see a lot more creatures over by my tree. I'm losing amity wherever I kill them, so it doesn't really overly matter where I kill them, I suppose. So I might head on over there, because I'm not finding many creatures at the moment. But it was night time, so maybe that would change. Okay, let's try a sneak attack with my arrows. Yeah, one hit. Okay, right, that worked a bit better. Okay, right, let's pick that up. Oh, but fudge, seriously? Okay, right, um, I'm going to eat that. Doleful. Okay, right. I'll eat these. Better not need more of those. Or else it means I'm killing more creatures. Okay, there we go. What the fudge is that? Oh, yeah. Bit weird. Okay, let's go get these ones as well. Oh, dang it. Dang it! Okay, right. This whole um, inventory being full malarkey is a pain. I'll eat those. Still fall! Darn and blast. Alright. Um, I really don't know what to get rid of now. Feather or fur. Uh, yeah. Ah, this is a pain. Got my free hides now, but my amity is like way down for murdercating those creatures. Dang it! Okay, now because this took a lot longer than I thought, chums, I think next episode I might get my... What the fudge? Okay, I've, I've got three on me, haven't I? I've got three hides on me right now. Uh, okay, I need to get one more. Well, I just figured this would make quite a nice little thumbnail image of me on my little, my little steed. And uh, the, the, the actual tree, so that'd be my thumb now. Okay, now it's Rosa and I've got five, even though he killed one more creature. But there we go. And that's what it is. And there we go. We've actually built all of Midhaven. I think next episode I will travel over and um, get the teleporter established. Even if the, I don't even know whether it's a thing I can do or not. But I do need to take that Raro fruit back down to my other town. So I think it's about time I did that. So anyway, people, I hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. It's mainly how to get yourself a mount, how to get the town fixed, and that's pretty much it. Anyway, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.